What's coming up next? This is the bout. We're coming live from Bhubaneswar. Quick reminder: Monica in the red corner versus Sonia. 51 kilogram category that bout. In the red corner, it is Monica from Punjab University, Chandigarh. 2020 Senior National Championship. Uh, she participated. Talk about 2018, Sadat. School National Championship gold medal winner. Again, a very decorated boxer for her age. Of course, we have to mention that. Sonia from Mewar University, Rajasthan. 2020 All India University Games bronze, which was held not a very long time ago. But even more impressive for me, a Junior World Championship silver medal for Sonia. We've got two very good boxers in the ring. And of course, they will be very good boxers because they've made the finals of the Kalo India University Games. There's no chance element here. It's only hard work and pure talent that gets you to this level and this stage. We are celebrating sport. You always say sport's a journey of freedom, beauty and unexpected discoveries. Sport tells you to explore the unexplored. How can sky be the limit when we've seen footprints on the moon? Beautifully put there by my co-com and uh, what will be beautiful for these two will be a gold medal around the neck and I'm sure they will be giving it their all. Rajni Singh, in case you're just joining us from Dr. Bhim Ambedkar University, Agra has won the gold in the light fly category. We are into the higher division. It's the flyweight, 48 to 51 kilograms. The weigh-in is done every morning, a couple of hours before and uh, there is some side to see paddy the win of the boxers as well some really funny things happen during the win much before that as well if you if one morning before you realize you are 1.5 kgs less then you stop taking i mean the intake of salt is zero then for you and that brings down the water content in the morning <laughs> and it reflects in the weight as well the first thing that comes to my mind when i think of a boxing win to be honest is uh, a boxer who's overweight wearing three track suits on a stationary bike going at it all out trying to get the weight and the salts and the water out trying to hit the weight two hours before and that is his coach pushing him on saying go for it go for it yeah and if you ever work out you weigh yourself before the workout if you weigh yourself after the workout normally you'll find you are 500 700 grams lighter you can try that if any one of you listen to our coverage right here either on Hotstar or Star Network well there's about 40 seconds gone Siddharth we were far too consumed <laughs> into talking about the veins here Monica is in the red corner and Sonia is donning the blue corner completely upright stance for the girl in red Monica from Punjab University Chandigarh no crouch for her is that uh, because she's looking to get on the offensive or is that her natural position? We will see as the bout goes on. Completely upright. Oh, solid. That would have done a lot of damage on the blue corner as well as scored a lot of points for the red corner. Solid. Into the midriff. No, it is, it is the solid ones that count. You need to land those punches fairly clean. But one thing's for sure, there's a lot of entertainment here on offer. Damn. Got a lot of strength, a lot of speed in her lead hand as uh, Sonia in the blue Mewar University Rajasthan. They will be so proud of her. Mewar University Rajasthan has made the final year in the flyweight category thanks to this boxer in the blue. Sonia and uh, she's come up against a boxer with not a very orthodox stance. It's a slightly unorthodox. Look at how her lead hand just hangs in the air. Now I'm uh, talking about Monica in the red. Just hangs in the air, just waiting for that opportunity and then she uses a better hand speed. And often you talk about style, it's often defined as the strategic approach a fighter takes during a bout. I mean, you can be an outside fighter, you can be a brawler, you can be the inside fighter. Notably, when you talk about uh, the outfighters, the three names that come to mind, the first one is Mohamed Ali, Larry Holmes, Klitschko. Klitschko is, of course, the more contemporary. Ali, of course, is the greatest of all time. We didn't need to give him that tag, he said it himself. Of course he did. I still remember what, what um, George Foreman once said when asked, when are you going to retire? He said, uh, they asked what age. He said, not what age, what, ask me what income I'll retire at. <laughs> Looking on both the support staffs of both these boxers, because uh, 
It's just up the tempo and uh, as if it was a coordinated maneuver, both the support staff asking the boxers to push themselves in the last 10 seconds. The second round coming up after a very... This is uh, between Monica in the red corner and Sonia in the blue corner. Sonia hails from Mewar University, Rajasthan. Monica is from Punjab University, Chandigarh. On your screen, the red corner. 2018 National School Championship Gold Medalist, red corner. Talk about bronze medal for 2020 All India University game for Sonia. Was the blue corner? I'm Padam with me is Siddharth, and you're watching the penalty medley right here. Well, we've seen one boxer convert her university games bronze into gold. That was Raji Singh in the first bout. Will that performance be repeated? This is a much better start by Sonia. She's clearly taking the instructions on board. She's clearly playing the aggressor, dominating the center of the ring, pushing up the pace. This is an excellent start by Sonia. Clean clean blows for her and those will be points assured good start and the judges at times they have such a luxury because the view there for the five of them and Sid introduced uh, them to you a short while back their positions as well they consider as to who was the more with the with the aggression the control of the ring the control of the tempo of the fight and the, then the damage inflicted when you speak about the damage inflicted it is the punches that really count solid and hard absolutely that's how the counting is done and uh, this is a very even round so far again she's fighting back here is monica in the red the first few exchanges definitely belong to sonia but this is good work by monica she's composed herself her plan is back in action with, with that hanging left hand. Yeah, you need to have a plan. At times you need to alter the plan. You come with a different sort of a plan, but because you've never played this opponent before, the opponent actually turns out to be something very different. There's so many different styles of boxing and, and the approach matters so much more. You need to have plan A, B, C. She's got everything, the left hook and the right as well. Good combination coming in. And the moment she realized the guard was down, that's the time that she punched. Oh, that is another one. This round is going very well for Sonia. Just over a minute to go. This is the courage, the commitment of boxers that we talk about. The first round was clearly not in her favor. But she's come back fighting like a real fighter, which she is into the second. Quick feet, fast hands, great concentration. You need to be a good student of the game. Focus must never be away from your plan right here and what a blow at, at times does is it shakes you up completely <laughs> oh it does especially those uh, on the chin the uppercut is absolutely devastating can be absolutely devastating i haven't seen one as yet you've seen the boxers attempt that but to get that right is difficult because obviously boxers protect against a maneuver like that and now 10 seconds and under in the second round good action pack this and they want to give it all because then you get a 60 second breather and now throwing her into the ropes and that can kill your hopes just try and evade the ropes that's exactly what she's doing but on the process she took two solid blows in the body full marks to monica who will the third round belong to final round coming up number two of the penalty midday of Kelo India University Games 2020 and uh, these three minutes would matter so much more this is the gold medal bout this is between Monica from Punjab University versus Sonia in the blue corner I'm Padam with me said and I leave all the predictions for you buddy I keep my money in my pocket boxing is a difficult sport to get spot on and right all the time but uh, does feel gut instinct will tell you that uh, Monica in the red has had a very good first round it was an even second round where Sonia from Mewar University Rajasthan started very well and uh, Monica had a lot to think about to get back into a plan very very orthodox unorthodox I beg your pardon leaves her guard so open and Sonia has landed a few once again in the opening round here 
solid especially the left hook is working very very well they are both of them but from the open glove mind you it will never be counted you cannot use your elbow it's as simple as this exactly the same thing that the official was saying and the moment they are separated they are back they understand this is the time the moment of truth is not far away and the best color any athlete wants the smell of the game absolutely and uh, yeah monica will be smelling gold because uh, she dominated the first round the second round was too close to call probably just edged it and in the third such an open stance she has such confidence in her boxing ability that the defense is actually very unorthodox of course but to do the neutral or to someone who is not familiar with boxing it will seem as if it doesn't exist completely open true and very soon under 70 seconds now they'll have to deliver all that they have some solid punches need to come because this is the time when at times if, even if you are trailing you can tilt the balance in your side all that you need to do is solid defense is okay she did very well high guard takes the blows on the elbows ah that would have counted the right jab from the red corner just under a minute only finals today gold medals that is what we are looking for that is what we are looking at only gold medal matches only gold medal bouts today and ultimate day at the kelo india university games and uh, we're coming towards the closing stages here of the flyweight category women section 48 to 51 kilograms monica of punjab university chandigarh and sonia mewar university rajasthan are fighting for that elusive gold medal who is it going to be it's 20 seconds and under from here on in the red corner it is monica in the blue corner it is sonia both are decorated boxers both understand the value of the remaining seconds that it is left no one wants to finish second they would want the gold blue corner is running away has she decided that she already has it in the pocket all that she now needs to do is take away the action and not let her opponent hit her finally they hug each other oh, great to see that happened the first bout as well paddy and it, this is what it's all about isn't it you are of course opponents in the ring your competitors off it as well but even competitors and opponents can show each other courtesy and that is what sport is all about sport is the biggest unifying factor no doubt about that sport unites when nothing else can that's the reason we are celebrating sport in india first we started with the uh, kelo india school games two seasons of kelo india youth games and now because all those three seasons were huge successes here it is kelo india university games here we are with the moment of truth here it is going to be sid pande telling us who's going to win waiting who will have the gold around their neck first gold of the kelo india university games is the first edition the scores have just reached the ring announcer both the fighters waiting with great anticipation here comes the announcement monica is already celebrating that's never a good idea but uh, many many congratulations to monica sonia she did come try her best and come back into the fight did land a few especially in the second round but the fighter in red was ahead <laughs> yeah and the five judges get you the scoring and you need to impress them with your finesse with quick feet movement on the court being solidly aggressive being very very neat in your defense your discipline on the court were you the aggressor were you taking far too many punches who were there on the ropes more so many things count such an unorthodox fighter was uh, monica of punjab university chandigarh and uh, despite that she's taken the gold and hard to say difficult to say that she wasn't convincing two bouts down the bantamweight is what we are moving